the other people like wear fanny packs is like why do I look like a freaking stupid idiot this one is so cute though look at it it's so cute but why do I look like a damn fool <laughs> my outfit but how do they wear it like back like that or like over here I'm gonna make this happen at some point. Oh, this one's really cute though. It came in a PR package with something. I love it, and I'm not gonna like wear it as a fanny pack, even though I do think a fanny pack is like a friggin' statement. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna do some organizing, rearrange, not rearranging, I just need to clean off my vanity and I have some new makeup to show you guys I thought we could just like tie it all in together a little vlog style whatever Ooh. why do I look like that this is my setup by the way it's very high tech don't try to replicate it because you can't it's too high tech you'll never understand it This is my camera stand. Again, very high tech. Don't try to replicate because you're not going to be able to do it. Oh, much better. Now you can see everything. All right, I'm probably going to like speed up this part and just get everything off of my vanity. And then we'll go through some new makeup and kind of arrange. Why is this here? All right, paper towels and wrangled up some Takis on the way back. And the best wipes ever, Fabuloso wipes. Oh my gosh, if you see them, buy them all. Hello, it is now the next day. Different leggings, same shirt. And this fuzzy number that I just bought from Walmart that I just tried on to see how it fit and I am not taking it off because it's fuzzy and it's amazing. And it was only $10. Oh my god, side note, how cute would this little fanny pack be with this little sweatshirt thing? But something's not. <laughs> what? Why does other people... Why? That's not English. Why do other people wear this? Wait, that's still not English. How do other people wear these and they look cute? Like, what are they... What am I... Oh, wait, what's wrong with me? All right, so let me give you guys an overview. I ended up putting my makeup brushes over here just kind of to get them out of the way. And then I have my two little makeup organizers. Hang on, let me sit down. So this one, I have like newer eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow palettes that I use a lot. Same with up there. I have some of my single eyeshadows and like palettes that are big or just ones that I really like. Setting sprays, Fix Plus, any type of spray is up there. Over here I have new makeup that I need to try in the bottom. And then I have lip glosses and like balmy lipsticks because that's pretty much what I wear every day. And then some face powders that I never use, but they're in there. And then up top I have some lip balms, some little hair clips, 
a broken eyeshadow, my favorite dose of color single eyeshadow. It broke, but I still wear it. And then my Fenty lip glosses, because if I store them laying down, oil like seeps out of them. So I have to keep them standing up and they don't fit in the drawer that I have my other lip glosses in. And then I have lip balms in that little container back there. This is stuff that I grab for a lot. We're going to go through that and we're going to play with some of this new makeup in there. So let me show you guys what I have in here. So I have this Pixie Eyeshadow Palette Rosette Ray. Um, I used this in a Get Ready With Me video not too long ago. It's pretty good. I've been using it and liking it. I still haven't used, I don't think I've used this at all, this new Milani eyeshadow palette in Burning Desire. How sexy. It's really pretty. I just keep forgetting to use it. And then I have all of my Makeup Geek palettes in here. Do I? Oh no, I moved them. I did have them all in here. Never mind. I have my favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette with, <laughs> girl, <laughs> she's beat. Uh, this is in the nude. I have a new one, but I still continue to use the old one. I don't know, there's just something about it. And then I have a few little e.l.f. palettes. These are so bomb. If you need good eyeshadows and you do not want to spend money, the new Classics, this is my favorite. Every single eyeshadow in here is so dang good. Opposites attract. This one's also really good. Not as good, but it's good. Like this color right here is so pretty. This one, oh, the mattes are amazing. And then Retro Paradise. You can still get this one, but I don't think it's permanent. Such good freaking eyeshadows. Like e.l.f. has totally stepped up their eyeshadow game. So they live in there. And then I have some new Ofra eyeshadow palettes that I've kind of been playing around with. Ofra still hit or miss for me with eyeshadow. This is the Lux palette. Very pretty. Maybe I'll pop some swatches in for you guys. Uh, this is the Getaway palette. I don't know that I've, I think I've swatched it, but I haven't really used it on my eyes. Um, Sweet Dreams. This one I have used. This one's pretty good. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still torn with Ofra with her eyeshadows. And then this is the Midi Palette Sweet Electric. That's actually really cute. That's like a face palette. Cute. And then back here we have some more eyeshadow palettes. The Revlon Wonder Woman palette that I used in a video, amazing, amazing drugstore palette. Like, so stinking good, look at this. Like this right here. Look how beautiful that is, hold on. Look at that. And then, what was the other color that I liked? I think it was this other gold shade. They're just so pretty. Here, let's do a darker one. Let's do this like, oh, look at that swatch. This like coppery shade. What? So good. I got to do the purple because I remember it being really good. Look how pretty. Oh, look at my watch. It keeps doing that. I need to like, I don't know why it's not set up. Something happened. Nick was playing with it, and now it's doing weird things. It keeps talking to me in other languages. And then I have these random Makeup Geek eyeshadows. These were new ones over the summer. Still haven't used them, but I have them in there. I probably should have given you guys the names of these Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So starting from the bottom, Meant to Be, Code Blue, Lavender Dreams, and Pretty in Pink. If you guys are interested, they're all mattes. Haven't used them, but they swatch pretty well, especially like this blue one. That looks pretty cool. Oh, and then I have a few Essence palettes. Fire and Earth. They had sent a few of these over. I put some in a giveaway. This is Fire. Have not used it. And this is Earth. Look how pretty that is. We should swatch. Let's do some swatches of these. Let me put all this stuff back in and then we'll swatch. Oh, I also have this pop palette. I think I used this in a Get Ready With Me. Light Show Palette Dusk Deluxe. 
Ooh, so pretty. All right, so let's start with Earth. Let's see if she's any good. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. Wait, these look nice. Oh, wow. I didn't think they were going to be that pigmented. Oh. These are essence. These are like dirt cheap. Oh, wow. I want to. Oh, wow. I want to swatch this green one. Are you kidding? I'm at like such a weird angle. Oh, my God. Why have I not worn this? This palette looks amazing. Holy crap. And look, still after swatching. <gasps> wow, that looks gorgeous. That is beautiful. That's staying out. I need to wear that. Okay, let's see if fire's as good. So pretty. I remember swatching these, but I haven't worn them. Looks pretty good. All right, let's see a fire. Ooh, that's not the best. Not the worst, but the metallics are so pretty. I think I'm gonna be impressed. I still like Earth better, just cause I like the colors better, but dang, these look nice. All right, Essence. And then in here, I just have like a total random assortment. I have this e.l.f. like liquid eyeshadow that they had sent over in Pinky Swear. I think these are like $3. I saw them at Target. I haven't, I don't think I used this. See, I love a good liquid eyeshadow, but I hate when they have, see those big chunks of glitter in there? I don't like when they do that. I don't know why, I feel like it cheapens the look. But that is pretty, like for $3, you can't beat that. It's super sparkly, very pretty. And then I have, oh my God, another palette that I freaking need to use, the Urban Decay Stone palette. This looks so pretty. I swatched this in a Get Ready With Me video, I remember. Let's do a couple swatches. So pretty. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Wait, I haven't really heard anyone talking about this. They look beautiful. They are so like shiny and glossy. That's what like sucks me in with eyeshadow. If it's super like shiny and glossy, I am sold. Ooh. Oh wow, this looks so pretty. And the mattes in here are also really nice. They're just like very basic, like everyday mattes. Oh man, I need to use that, it's so pretty. And then I have this Pixie palette that I do know that I showed you guys in a Get Ready With Me. I have a random benefit like eyebrow palette back there and then just two little Huda palettes that I grabbed for here and there. And then some more eyeshadows that I love and I use a lot, so I keep them where I can reach them very easily. We have just some single eyeshadows. Shadows like if I'm in a hurry and I just need to do my makeup in the car, I'll just kind of grab this and go. Um, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, my Makeup Geek, like their newer eyeshadows. These are my favorite shades out of their new ones, like the square ones. These two little e.l.f. duos, these little face duos, these are super cute. I used one or both of these in a Get Ready With Me. Oh, God. Tarte. You know what? I email Tarte, like my connection. Not connection. That sounds too, like I'm too important. But I, I know someone at Tarte. <laughs> and I emailed her and I'm like, I'm begging you. The people need the Aspen Ovard palette to be brought back. And she flat out told me it's not going to happen. 
This is the best palette that Tarte has ever done. Why would you not bring it back? I don't understand. I know it was limited edition, but it was so good. And the people need to experience this. Like it has this big ass mirror. It's so good. I use this a lot. It's just, it's one of my favorites. Here, I'll show you. Like the quality is just so good. Beautiful, and the mattes are incredible. The blush that's in here is so beautiful. It's this like dusty, like movie shade. Tarte. I know I already asked, but I'm telling you, this needs to come back. Look at that packaging. Why would you not bring it back? It makes no sense. Tart, if you don't bring that back, you don't care about your customers. All right, I'll just put it out there. I am calling you out, Tart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Somebody's gonna think I'm serious and be like, oh my God, the tea. The tea is so hot, it's piping. Okay, and then back there I have two Charlotte Tilbury palettes, the Pillow Talk palette and then this like metallic one that is so beautiful as a topper. What is this? Supersonic Girl palette, that's what it's called. They're so pretty. I love to wear this one like just over any eyeshadow because it's like just like a topper shade. My hand's a little wet so that was like more intense than normal. But this is really pretty if you just want to add like a little pop of like sparkle. And then Pillow Talk, just a staple. Like you need this. They're just so good. And then I have some empty Anastasia little eyeshadow holders. The Natural Nudes from Too Faced. I love this palette. I do think this is probably the best palette. Come on. The best palette that Too Faced has done. Like to this day. The quality is amazing. The metallics are gorgeous and like reflective and they you don't get a lot of fallout. The mattes blend like a dream. Not one bad thing to say about this palette. And I don't feel like it got enough hype for as good as it is. I have a few little e.l.f. quads in the back there. And then Natasha Denona Camel Palette. <laughs> the Camel Palette. Amazing great quality it's little you can travel with it so these are just eyeshadows that I love and I grab for a lot so they just stay nearby these I'm actually gonna put away because they don't need to be in there okay so down here is some new makeup this is what I really like want to focus on so Laura Mercier had sent these two over. I think I'm actually going to put them in a giveaway. They're both red and I don't really wear red. A crimson lip liner and then Rouge Ultime. I don't know, but it's one of her Rouge Essential lipsticks. So you guys will probably see that in my Christmas giveaways. If you're new around here, every year I do giveaways in December. I try to do one every day or at least a few a week. So stay tuned for that. Um, follow me on Snapchat because that's where they originate. I have this primer in here that I've been meaning to try for months. It was in a like a Korean beauty box, perfect pore primer. And I have some Becca Light Gleam Primer and Topper Liquid Eyeshadows. These look kind of fun. But I just, I don't know, I haven't used them. Let's swatch one of them. We'll swatch, let's do this one. Jade Golden Hour. Yeah, Golden Hour. So you have, they're kind of like the Huda ones that were out. So you have like your base, which is just like a matte. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. I wonder if you could wear that as like a contour shade. Cause that's like a really nice, like neutral, like olivey kind of shade. Kind of like it. And then you have your sparkly like topper side. I don't know, the toppers to me feel a little like thin and like you can see your skin. I like when it's very like pigmented when you swatch it. I don't know how that would work on the eye. I feel like I feel you would have to keep layering and you would get bald patches like if you kind of went over it a second time you know what I'm talking about. With liquid eyeshadows, they can be very, very finicky. And I can usually tell by swatching them how they're gonna be. 
And I don't have the best feeling about that, but that looks amazing. Like, tell me you couldn't use that on your face. I have a Pop Beauty liquid eyeshadow that I also need to use. This one's in the shade Pink Flash. Let's see how this formula looks. See, now I think that looks really pretty because it's thin, but there's no gaps. Like, you can't see my skin underneath. I don't know, that just looks like it would just like lay nicely on the eye. Does that make sense? That actually looks really pretty. I don't like those chunks of like silver sparkle though. I don't know why they do that. I feel like it really cheapens the look. But what do I know? And then we just have like a Laura Mercier um, eye crayon, a Laura Mercier brow gel that I really wanna try out. A Pixi Large Lash Mascara, and then some Revlon Color Stay Eyeliners that they recently came out with that I do need to use in a get ready with me. Like I have a lot of stuff to use. This has been sitting in there for months. Uh, Stay Naked Threesome in the shade Rise from Urban. I don't know why, I, I'm just never a fan of these Urban Decay like face palettes. I don't know why I just can't get into them. It's not that the quality's bad. I don't know why, I just, I always pass them by. Another Ofra palette, this one's in Empowered. Oh wow, that's really pretty. See, I wanna do a green eye look, that's why I kept this guy out. This has been in there for an eternity. I should probably just get rid of it. Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer in the shade. Zero One Nude Glow. The thing about this, when I swatch this, it looks so gorgeous. Wait, let me show you. You're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. When you rub this in, I gotta get close so you guys can see. It makes your skin look so like healthy and gorgeous. But I'm oily, so that's probably not going to work for me. But look how pretty. Do you remember that Revlon highlighter that they sent over? It was like, it was magically delicious. But it was like a grease pit. And I said, please someone do this in another like formula. I feel like Milani kind of did that. And I don't know why I haven't put this on my face yet. And then I have Professional Hydrate Primer, which I almost got rid of. And then I saw a few people talking about it, saying if you're oily, you can still use it. Like, don't be afraid by the hydrate, you know. But I haven't used it. Another product I need to use. And then a L'Oreal liquid eyeshadow. This one is the Brilliant Eyes in the shade, hold on. In the shade Bronze Light. We have to do a swatch since we swatched all the others. Ooh, now that looks nice. It doesn't have those big chunks of sparkle in it. Ooh. I have that Milani product on my fingers and my hands, so it's probably not swatching the greatest. But that looks promising. That definitely looks promising. Okay, so that's pretty much it for new stuff. I do have this pop little face palette that will also need to be used in a get ready with me. Prismatic Pop Palette in Pink Champagne. And then you guys saw these Ofra liquid eyeshadows in my last get ready with me. If you did not, you should go watch it because they're kind of good. And then this is just a random e.l.f. lip liner from the Retro Paradise collection that I'm gonna put in with my other lip liners. And then up here we just have some lip glosses and believe it or not, this is 97% of my lip gloss collection. And if you've been with me, you know how massive my lip gloss collection was. Like it was out of control. I got rid of so much stuff because I just don't use it. And for a while it was like, oh my God, I gotta have like the biggest collection. I gotta save everything. I have to buy all the makeup. And that's changed for me a lot. Now it's like, I wanna have good quality products that I'm gonna use. They're not just gonna sit here and waste away. Now that still does happen because I do still have a big collection, but not 
like it used to be. And then up here I have pretty much what I wear every day. These are my like balmy lip products. You guys have seen these many times. It really has not changed. Like they're all the same. One of my favorites is Chanel Boy. This is just like a staple. It's nude, it's light, it feels like a lip balm. It's so gorgeous. It's what it's what I need in my life. But you know, some people like super pigmented, really like bold statement lips. That's not my thing. I just like a balm, a gloss, something like super light. I did a video on my favorite like balmy lips. So I will put that up in a card because these are all in there. And then just a few powders up here. My Hourglass, what is this called? Um, Veil Translucent Powder, my Charlotte Tilbury Powder, NARS Crystal, and then this beautiful, magical Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. How did I not know that name? This is gorgeous, but normally I just grab for Luminous Light, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, perfect timing. I just got more stuff in the mail, so I thought I would show you guys since that's what we're kind of doing here. So Persona came out with nail polish. How cute are these? So we have this guy. What is her name? Oh, Milk. This one is Midnight. It's like a deep, it looks like Wicked from Essie. This one is Lilac. Oh, that's pretty. I love, this one's my favorite, Cement. And this one kind of has a little bit of like sparkle in it. So pretty. So wait, these are available October 28th. 10 free formula, cruelty-free vegan. There's seven shades. They're called Persona Paints. That's so cute. Thank you, Persona. I will be testing those guys out. And then this came from Revlon, and I was going to unwrap them, but I wanted to show you guys how cute they look. Look, they're wrapped up like little candies. How cute is that? There's a bunch of stuff in here. I think they're lipsticks and, I don't know, mascara or something. Look, so adorable. You guys will see this makeup bag in my Christmas giveaways. I've been saving a bunch of my makeup bags for giveaways. All right, I'm going to unwrap all this stuff. Wait, this paper is so so cute. Hold up. Come on, girl. Look how cute this paper is. Oh my god, I wish I could like do something with it. It's adorable. So what do we have here? A liquid liner. Some of this stuff will go into giveaways. Like, I don't wear liquid liners, so I usually always put them in giveaways. There's a little vinyl lip polish that'll go in a giveaway. Let's this. Cream eyeshadow in the shade Bold. That's pretty, but that'll go in a giveaway because I probably won't wear that color. What the heck is this? Oh, I think it's a little palette. Oh, cute. Did I ever try these? I know they had the... Wait. No. Wait, am I thinking of the right thing? What Wasn't it CoverGirl that did palettes that looked exactly like this? Oh my god. That's like exact. Do, do you guys know what I'm talking about? They had like the writing. They looked just like this. This is actually really cute. That's the name. I'm not even going to try to say that. Cute. And then it looks like we have some lipstick, Onyx. I'm not going to open them up till I see what the colors are. I'll look them up online or something. Black Cherry. I already have that guy. Yeah, this will go in a giveaway. Lip Polish. I try to share a lot of stuff with you guys. I do a lot of giveaways on Snapchat. Did I say that? That's pretty. Photo ready eye art, but I will put it in a giveaway because I have so many like liquid cream eyeshadows. What do we have here? Um, 
another liquid liner. So that'll, oh, it doesn't want to focus. That'll also go in a giveaway. All right, awesome. So stay tuned for giveaways. This came from LA Girl. So these are Pastel Dream Auto Liners, which is cool because there are other eyeliners that they did or that they've done in the past. I'm definitely going to keep this blue one, so we'll play with this one. They were always like, just like the crayon ones, do you know what I mean? Like the ones that you sharpened. So it's cool that they're doing mechanical ones now. This one's called Powder Blue. I know my camera's not focusing on the right thing. Oh, that's pretty. We'll have to test them out. I'm definitely not keeping all these colors because I'll definitely keep the black one. Um, I have so many like bright eyeliners and I never really wear them. So most of these will be going in the giveaways. And there's no info on this. I love when brands like send papers over, but it has no info. Like it has no launch date, no price. Like I love you LA girl, but can we get a price? Can we get a launch date? That's what the people want to know. Oh my god. Uh, okay, but I am grateful to receive that. I'm not saying that. I just think that would be a good idea to put on the papers like the Persona one. We have a launch date. We don't have a price though. Like, isn't that odd? I don't know. Who am I? Who am I? Oh, one last thing that I wanted to show you guys. This is my little like everyday makeup holder full of products that I grab for a lot. I did throw some stuff in here that shouldn't be in here. So let me pull that stuff out and then I'll show you guys kind of what's in here. And I have a few new things in here. So this is a new addition. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and Tawny. I have been loving this. It's super, super light coverage. I mean, it's a tinted moisturizer, but some have more coverage than others. Very light coverage, but if you're oily, this is a good one because it doesn't make me greasy. And it's just so natural. You, I just put it on with my fingers. I don't even use a brush or anything. Been loving. So good. I have my Becca Zero, of course, which is almost empty. Did a video on this. So loving that. The only primer that I use, the Smashbox. Come on. There we go. Oil and shine control. Love if you're oily, a must have. My camera is not focusing. So this is a new product. This is from Wander. Gleam Highlighter Stick and Sundew. Now I love their cream highlighters. I'll show you another one that I use a lot. This one's a little bit more gold than the one that I normally use, but it's really pretty and I love how it's like this little container. It's so cute. This is the one that I normally use. It's a double-sided one, so it has a blush on one side. I don't really use the blush much, but this Nude Glow, oh my goodness, one of my favorite cream highlighters. It is so pretty. It's good if you're oily because it doesn't make your skin like greasy. It doesn't, it's not super emollient. It almost has kind of like a powdery finish. It lasts all day on me. It's so natural and beautiful. Probably my most favorite cream highlighter that I've tried. I wish I could get it in a single. I have to see if they do that one like in this size because I would totally buy that. And then I just have like my Pat McGrath powder that I'm not even gonna talk about anymore because you guys know. I have my Luminous Light, which is what I usually use on top of the Wander. Like if I want it to last all day, it lasts really well on its own, but sometimes I'll top it with this and the two of them together, such a gorgeous combination. I have some of my Bobbi Brown Single Eyeshadows, which is not anything new. Metal Rose, this one I've been wearing quite a bit. It's this like cooler toned, like bronzy, taupey, I don't know, it's a very odd shade. It's so pretty though. Love that. My favorite one that you guys have heard me talk about a thousand times is Melting Point. These are just so good, they are worth every penny in my opinion because I have used this thing so many times and it still looks like brand new. I mean not really but you know what I mean. Like it hasn't gone down much. I have a few cream blushes. This should not be in there. Oh I can show you this. This is a new product 
from Wander. This is a Exquisite Eyes Liquid Shadow in Steel Street. This is really, really pretty. I love how the formula is so, like, thin. These just look so natural. I just tap it on and, like, rub it in with my finger. It lasts all day. It's so easy. And I love the color. The color is just so pretty. Oh, love that. The Soap Brows, I told you guys before, I'm not a huge fan of, but I do use it, like, if I'm doing my makeup in the car or something because it's so convenient. But I like my pear soap better than this. I do love this container, though. And then my NARS Bonk Bonk, of course, my most favorite highlighter next to the Anastasia um, Amrezi one. So that's pretty much it for that guy. Um, okay, now I'm organizing the vanity, I swear. move my candle over for a little ambiance. This is the Heritage Pumpkin Candle from Target. My mom brought it for me. It smelled so good. Like this little tiny thing smelled up my whole room. It's a good one. I think these little ones are like five bucks. I have more new stuff to show you guys. I forgot about these lashes from Too Faced that they just came out with. So these are natural flirt. I'm gonna keep this pair and the other ones are gonna be in my Christmas giveaways. So those we're keeping. These are doll eyes, so pretty. And these are foam mink falsies. These are sex kitten. Ooh, so dramatic. And these are Drama Queen. These are gorgeous. Like, I wish I could wear lashes like that. They just don't look right on me, but they are beautiful. Like, they're so fluffy and, like, wispy, which is what I love in lashes. So, those are new. Okay, last thing I have to show you guys. Jouer. Oh my god, you have outdone yourself. So they came out with a bunch of good stuff for their little holiday sets, but the best one was this little trio of their Essential Lip Enhancer, and you guys... Okay, now I love the Essential Lip Enhancer. I've been through numerous. Like, they're all over my house. It's my new fresh sugar. I love it. These are vanilla, sweet mint, and rose. <laughs> Yeah, you heard me right. The vanilla one is my favorite. It is so good. I will be buying a set of these just to have one back up because I don't know that these are going to be permanent. They need to be, though. Like, they are so good. I've been wearing the vanilla and the rose constantly, and my dumbass, it took me two weeks to realize that this one is indeed rose and not the original. Like, I thought it was the original because the packaging looks very similar. Like the color, they're both this like off-white, you know. I just realized that this was rose. So you're not just getting two flavors and an original, you're getting three. Rose, sweet mint, vanilla. It is so good. Obsessed. I think it's like $23. I could be wrong. I'll put the price on the screen. But if you take anything from this video, right here. If you're a lip balm fanatic like I am, oh, oh so good. And I'm not just saying that because I have a code, I swear. Like, don't even use my code. Just use somebody's code, bitch. And get you some lip balm. You will not regret it. The vanilla. The vanilla I would sell one of my children for. Probably Emma. Okay, I just have to show you this real quick. They also came out with Paris Lights, which is their citrine highlighter and one of the um, lip oils. These are two of Jouer's best products. So if you've been wanting to try either of them, buy it in this little holiday set because you're saving money and you're getting both products. Like, that's so good. And this will be 
finish the sentence for me in my holiday giveaways. So one of you guys is going to win this little one. I just realized that I filmed this whole video without my ring light being on. Oh my goodness. And I don't even have these lights on. Wow. I am so good at this. Anyway, this is my finished vanity. It's um, less is more. Like, if you look at my vanity tours from like two years ago, this same vanity right here was packed full. Like, it was packed to the gills. I don't know. I just, I'm changing my ways. I don't need as much stuff like right on my vanity. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I know that we've already been here for quite a while. So I'm just going to say thank you guys so much for watching. I will have info down below about my Snapchat and how you guys can enter my giveaways and all that. So, um, yeah, I love you guys so much. And I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Like me looking like this. <laughs> Is this OnlyFans? Um, I sure as hell hope not because unless they want like feet pics, <laughs> that's all I have to offer. If you want a foot, no, you know what? Like I'm saying this joking and I'm gonna get like a message like, oh girl, I heard you were giving out feet pics. No. Mm. Oh shoot, my battery's dying. Oh, my toe! Oh, 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 I just got my toe. Oh, I'm freaking hurt. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Creamy. It's hydrating, it's moisturizing, it's not greasy, it's not thick and weird, like it's thick, but in that like, ooh, she thick. Not in that like, ooh, she thick. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. It's a good day. It's a good day. She thick. Thick, 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 thick.